Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Tension JK. How you guys doing? <clears throat> Y'all good? I'm glad. <laughs> um, today, what I wanted to do was um, just kind of talk to you guys. And if you can't allow me, consider this your gift to me, okay? Just kind of listen. That that's my that's your gift to me. Just just listening to me. Cause um, you know I've been making videos a lot, <laughs> and I've been making videos mainly about what people want to hear or their questions, their concerns, whatever. But I really never had a chance to you know just talk about. About me, my 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 shit, <laughs> the, the stuff the stuff on my mind. I mean, it's it's not like a a bad thing or anything, but it's just something that I've been wanting to talk about, and get your opinions and you know and such and such. You know, you guys help me out for a change, <laughs> and um. I've been wanting to talk about this for years now. It's not even that big of a deal or a topic, but it's just one of those things that I've been like pulling to the side day after day because I'm just afraid of what people might might think of me or look at me wrong or like I started to worry about these things and I just couldn't, you know, talk about it. Um and so, like I said, kind of want to talk about it. <laughs> Um, and to some of you guys, you might not enjoy it, you know, and some of you guys might find it boring and stuff, but that's why I said, consider it a gift <laughs> for you guys to me, all right? Um, you know, I was starting to look at my life for a change, you know, and some of you guys might be like, oh, here it goes again, but like... For real, I was starting to look at my life and I was just like, where are my friends? Where are they? Like, where are, where are the friends that cared for me in the past? Where have they all gone? Something wrong with me? What did I do? But in the midst of these questions, while I was thinking this, well, what did I do? Ba -da 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 -da. I realized <laughs> shit was me all along, man. I fucked up my relationships with almost everybody I've met in my life. Mostly unintentional, but it was me. It all comes down to my, my arrogance, my ungratefulness, selfishness, all of these things. And I've hurt so many people in my life. And the reason why sometimes to tell you the truth, you know why sometimes I'm afraid to get fame? Sometimes I'm so afraid to become like really popular, have a hundred thousand subscribers, all the world knows me. You know why I'm scared of that? Because I don't want them to know who I am. I know there's a lot of people out there who I fucked over will look at me and say, that guy? That guy? Dude, I hate that guy. That guy's such a douche. You know what I mean? And I know there's a lot of people out there who just, who definitely, who definitely point out all my flaws and I'll have nothing to say. They'll be like, hey, this guy was like this in high school. Or, this guy was like that and this and this and this. And they'll have so much things to say about me because I'm such a flawed human being. I really am. I have so much flaws. And sometimes on YouTube, it seems like, oh, Mr. Perfect. And some, some of these fans out there are treating me like I'm Mr. Perfect. And every time I hear these things, the guilt starts crushing down on me. The more subscribers I get, and people tell me I'm great. You're doing so great. And the more people say that, I'm just like, God. If they really knew who I was, if they truly understood who I was, Deep down inside, would they still like me? Would they still care for me? Would they still support me? And the answer is fuck no. 
Of course, I could say that about everybody. Of course. But it's just... You know, I guess... This time to... Think about my, my past is really healthy, I guess. Because... I've made so many mistakes. Just countless mistakes. I've broken so many hearts. And... Ah... Uh, sometimes the guilt gets at me. And, and some of you guys might be wondering, like, oh my god, what, what did he do that... You know... It's nothing crazy, like... <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not like I killed anybody or anything like that. It's just... When you live your life, you just can't help but fuck people over sometimes, you know, and hurt their feelings, and be inconsiderate. But when I just kind of thought about it in the, it just started to eat at me, you know. I was like, ah, oh, why did I do it that way? You know what I mean? Like, why did I treat my friends like this? Why did I always lie to them? Like deep down inside, I always wanted them to like me for who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted them to like me for who I am. But I was so afraid to show them who I was. I was afraid that they won't, they won't like me. If I'm just by myself. If just it's just me. And I don't know why that fear always got to me. That's why I always bullshitted to them. Just lied to them every day. And then later on, I realized they, they did like myself. They just didn't like my bullshitting self. And when I, when I started thinking about this stuff, I'm like, and I think about it now, I'm like, you're right. How, like, who the fuck would like a guy like that? Like, how, how confusing must it have been for him? It's like, dude, I really like this guy, but why is he always fucking bullshitting to me? God, it's like, I wish I could have changed how I behave towards people. Just... Ah, <laughs> it's one of those regretful moments in life, I think, you know, it's such a pity that, you know, we only live once, you know what I mean, and then, it, it's so vain, you know, when, when, I think when I die, it's gonna be so vain, just my, King Solomon said that first, by the way, <laughs> but anyways, not just with friends, but with loved ones, too. Why did I take them f for granted? And then I was starting to think about it. Why, why did I treat them like that? And then I realized the root of it was that it was my arrogance. You know, I thought I could get any girl I wanted. That if I tried, I could get her and I could get her, yada, yada, yada. And because of that little, little voice in the back of my head, the girl in front of me just wasn't precious enough, wasn't valuable enough so that I could just do whatever the hell I want. It's, I didn't cheat or anything like that, but it's just the way I acted sometimes was like, eh, I could get somebody else if you, if you treat me like shit. I didn't say it out loud, but that's kind of how I acted outwardly and inwardly. And man, and I just feel so grateful for all the, the ex-girlfriends that I had, except for that one girl, you know what I'm saying? That, you know what I'm talking about? The five timer, the hell out of here! I ain't apologizing to you, <laughs> but to everybody else, to everybody else, <laughs> and just um, <laughs> that, that kind of cracked me up. <laughs> I just, it just kind of cracked me up a little bit. Just imagining like, she's like watching the video, you know, and she's like, oh, and then I'm like, not you. She's like, fuck, you dead. <laughs> Time out for a second. <laughs> but uh besides that, uh <laughs> I don't know, just like mental picture, you know? The mental picture is so funny. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> but anyways <laughs> What was I talking about? The loved ones and just overall, man, like I had a time of just remembering my past. Some people might call it maturity, but man. I ended up crying and shit. Like, it's so weird how that happens, but it just does. 
and some dudes might say, hey, this guy's a little bitch. She's a little pussy from crying like that. But, man, it was deep for me. Ah. <sighs> And if you, uh, I remember I talked to you guys about like, you know, the whole fame thing about like how I want to talk, be a talk show host and all this kind of stuff. That is my dream. But what's been stopping me is just knowing myself, you know, it's like there's a lot of people out there will definitely know who I am. They're going to be like, yo, that guy, ain't, that guy, that guy's full of shit. That guy ain't nothing. All this kind of stuff. So it's like, it's sad to think about that kind of shit, but I don't know. <sighs> uh, I guess that's kind of what I want to talk about a little bit. Just what's been on my mind. Maybe a little words of encouragement on your part will be very, very helpful. And uh, Overall, overall, I am glad... How I turned up though. Obviously my life ain't perfect. <laughs> my life is quite difficult at the moment. And and I don't have the things that I had in the past. But what I receive now is just so much more than what I had in the past. Back then I had a lot of materialistic things. I had a lot of friends. I mean I had a lot of friends. A lot of popularity. Um... How a lot of girls interested in me and all this stuff. Now I think I have something more important. You know, I might not have a lot of friends, but I kind of filtered them out over the years. I filtered them out and found the ones that I could truly be honest with and just be myself with. And uh, yeah, the thing is, we don't meet that much because of long distance and stuff. Because some of them live like hour, two hours away, and some might live maybe 40 minutes away. And that actually makes it really difficult to just kind of, you know, chillax and stuff together. Um, so, I mean, that's that's good in itself. And for the loved one, although it's long distance, nobody ever loved me like she loved me. You know, and that's kind of what drives me. And... Obviously, I have you guys, my subscribers and fans who are always there for me, supporting me, saying good things, and I'm truly thankful. And I, I also thank you for listening. You know, if you guys listen all the way, I am truly grateful. <laughs> and um, I hope, I hope I can show you the better side of me, my natural self, which is this, just. And I hope I can entertain you guys and uh, let's see how this things go and how this things play out in my life. All right. Um, thank you guys and bye.